a white Caucasian male who's in their 30s. For me, you might disagree, but for me, it's just too thick. Yes, guys, today I'm asking you not to give up, to be patient, because the results will come. I can promise you that. Now, before I show you the proof that patience works, I'd like to thank Laviva for sponsoring this video. If you'd like a 15% discount code, it's Adam15 in the description box below. They sell a wide variety of hair systems and you can use that discount code as many times as you like. So, I've been looking through an archive of my oldest YouTube videos and I was aghast at how my hair systems looked back then. And that was me as a beginner. And that's why I want to say to you that with this, you get better with time. You get more realistic with time. It just takes practice and persistence. And once it pays off, you feel like you've achieved something truly special. So I'm going to show you some pictures from my earlier days of making hair system videos. And I'm going to show you basically what made these systems look a little bit ridiculous and what I learned from it. So this first one, I actually got, years ago, Lord Hair sent me a hair system, and they're like, what one do you want? And, and I just said, I want German lace, because I saw they had German lace, I never heard of it, I was curious. I never realised how thick it would be. And you look at this, and you're like, wow, that is a very, very thick head of hair. I think it was between a 130% and a 140%. Now for a white Caucasian male, who's in their 30s, for me, you might disagree, but for me, it's just too thick. I wouldn't go back to that level of thickness ever again. Also, what I didn't like about this was, because it was so thick, I had to actually push it back, and it would constantly had to be pushed back. I couldn't have it forward because then it looked silly. So constantly pushed back, which means my hairline was constantly exposed. And what I remember was, I would get so many lifts along the front, because back then I'd use glue. I'd use glue at the front and it would always be lifting because, not just because the glue wasn't good, but because the hair was so thick and heavy, it wasn't able to hold anywhere. And I was always having to like brush it back. So there was a lot of sort of backward friction going on, which was of course encouraging more of a lift. So that one was from several years ago. This one, was I think 2019. Now the system itself is not bad at all. It's actually quite a good system, but you can see it's gone very blonde and quite brassy. And that's because these were the days when I used to try and get as long as possible out of a system. So this system was about six months old, maybe five months, but I was washing it every single day. I was shampooing it every single day and after about two months, the system was bone dry. The hairs were like straw and they'd gone yellow or blonde rather. And they're quite bright. They're really brassy at the back. I was also shaving the sides of my head completely to a zero. So the blend wasn't, the blend was really non-existent. And this is another reason why I've made this video because I'm highlighting, you know, possible mistakes that I made so that, you know, if you're earlier in your journey, you don't make the same mistakes as me because no one was making videos about these when I first started. So I had no idea about how often was good to shampoo a system. I had no idea that it was quite important to have a blend on the sides because I couldn't see the back of my head. So, yeah, that was, mm, I think that was 2019 that I made this particular video. Also, the system itself because I was doing it from back to front at that time and I still do it occasionally from back to front I couldn't see where the back was so it was a lot of guesswork basically I hadn't learned the whole thing about using a pencil to draw along the front where you want the hairline to go and as a result there'd always be overlap on the, my actual natural hair and then the actual system itself so the hair system at the front was really quite far back it was about five fingers back which is really that, that's quite high up the scalp. It's not a massive thing, but um, it's a thing that I noticed when I saw this photo again. This was the same as that first system. This might even have been the same video or a separate one, but you can just see, like down the sides here, that I tried to shave it myself, but it's just so thick. It's so thick at the front. There's actually, I think there's a little lift there as well, where the mouse is. Um, but yeah, this was... A very very thick system too thick 
I think for anyone really. Let's have a look at the next one. We've seen that one. Aha, yes, this one. So this, oh, what's this one was a, I think this was a Swiss lace from New Lace. And again, no, it must have been French. But because it was so thick, and it was my fault, I ordered a thick system. I ordered a very thick system because my logic back then was if I order a thicker system, it will last longer because it will be able to tolerate more shedding without it being obvious. This was before I learnt the importance of just taking care of the system. You know, using argan oil on it, wearing a do-rag at night. I didn't do any of those things back then. And as a result, I felt I had to get a really thick system early doors. You don't need to do that if you're using a silk pillow or a do-rag and using argan oil on your hair. It will protect it a lot better. Um, and you can have a 95%, 100% system, even a 90%. Um, I'm talking about my age range, so I'm 35, so 90, 95, 100, 105 is about the right density you should be looking for. Again, I went for that sort of pushed back look. And it did look quite cool, the sort of windswept, but it was a lot of maintenance. It was constantly, a lot of the time, because of the pushback, there was a lot of lifts happening. And I was constantly having to go back to my room get the glue out, and it took up so much time. When I think about it now, it took up such an unnecessary amount of time. And then this last one was from, I think it might have been a video of me thinning out a system. I can't remember exactly, but already you can see a lift there. But I, again, this was two years ago, maybe three years ago. I can't remember. But the system that I ordered, I just ordered a far too thick system. And you can see it's kind of... And I remember quite a few people in the comments were like, mate, it just looks too thick. And, you know, looking back at it now, I agree. And if you're one of those people that said that and you're watching this video, I apologize because I agree that this is this is too thick. There's too much hair based off of my age profile, my complexion, um, my race, you know, white Caucasian. We don't tend to have hair that thick when we're in our 30s. It's quite unusual. Um, and now I've gone a lot more with a sort of a natural density that's suitable for my particular age profile. So guys, I really wanted to show you those images from old videos way back in the archive because even me when I started, this is great evidence that I made a lot of mistakes. You know, I made a lot of mistakes in the earlier days, but I've learned from it now and now my hair systems look fine, you know, compared to back then. So it just shows that patience and persistence pays off it's not going to look perfect you know in the early days but over time and i'm hoping that my videos will help you with this you know with the tips in terms of hair care maintenance that you can make less mistakes than i did what do you think guys are you still on the fence about hair system are you a bit worried that you know you've got a hair system and it's not turned out how you want it to be or you're struggling with maintenance or you think it's too thick or too heavy or there's too much maintenance let me know in the comments box below i'm here to help you guys to save you guys time i'm looking forward to hearing all of your views and i'll speak to you very soon bye for now